Welcome back. I'm Tommy, the Angry Craftsman. Uh, today we learned something new um, and realized how wrong we really have been in the nature of our laser engravings. Um, for all those that haven't done it before, uh, like us, running a ramp test is probably one of the best things that you can do when you start out with your laser. Uh, I regret not doing it before, but I, like most, uh, looked at it and went, why the hell do I need to do this when the manufacturer of whether it's the lens or the laser says, well, this is the distance. Uh, so as this goes on, we'll take you through some of the steps that we did um, as well as the results. Um, we tested both the Thunder 51-130 with the standard 2-inch lens and the American Photonics 4-inch lens. And then we did the uh, Thunder 3580 with the stock two inch lens and the inch and a half American Photonics lens. So stay tuned and see what the results are. So we decided today that we wanted to try ramp tests on both machines that we have. So this is the first test. Um, it's the Thunder uh, 51 130. And no shit, we have been so wrong for years now. Um, this is definitely something that should have been done if the camera will focus. Should have been done years ago. We've been running everything about six mil and we get fine in graves. But looking at the ramp test and where it hits at the narrowest point, we're at five. So lesson learned, uh, new people out there, run the damn ramp test right off the bat. Uh, that's what I can take away from all this. Okay, so this is the test for the 3580. Uh, this first test here was the uh, stock two inch lens for the Thunder. Uh, you can see the, the lines that we, we marked and then the pencil lines of where we found that it was the smallest in diameter uh, for the beam spot. And once we did our measurements, we come to find out that for us, it's five millimeters. We did the same thing for the American Photonics 1.5 lens uh, and determined a 10 millimeter focus distance. Even though American Photonics says 10.5, uh, this is what we came up with. So as I flip the card over, you can see as it's upside down, we ran a variety of tests here. Uh, we started with the, the two inch stock and once again came to five mil. Uh, then we had tried some different ones for the four inch lens um, and then realizing that our line wasn't long enough, we did this fi final one down here and determined that the four inch lens from American Photonics, specifically this one, is 12 foot. 12.5 millimeter uh, focal distance. Um, from there, we didn't, we still didn't kind of believe it, uh, so we ran a couple of tests. So our first test was on uh, this piece of glued up cherry. It's solid wood. Uh, we cut Kentuckys out of it all the time. I know people have heard us talk about it. Um, and then we did the cut the square out of it. So this is the result for the 12.5 focus. When we put a square on this, it was perfectly square. And watch my finger as I rub. There is no, no residue on it. We have not wiped this off. Very minimal on that. Um, and it cut right through a damn glue joint. So all the times that I've been preaching that glue, lasers don't like glue, well, Today it decided to cut out. Uh, you can see here as I move around some of the areas like that little spot right here, there that it didn't want to cut through and then the amount of char that's on it, not too awful bad. Here's another little spot. These were all at 10.5 millimeter focus that we were getting all of this. Um, we've also complained that, you know, Sometimes cherry sapwood doesn't want to doesn't want to cut through, um, so we run that test as well. So we did it again with a, a little bit different thickness piece of wood, uh, just to see, and we made sure we incorporated glue lines, uh, heartwood and sapwood, and the results were fantastic. One tiny little spot right there on the glue line that it, the laser did not want to cut through. 
and it's a it goes right back in it it's a nice tight fit uh, for what it is with the kerf so again we've been wrong all this time uh thinking that you know certain types and uh whether it's sapwood or heartwood doesn't want to cut when it turns out we've been wrong with our focal distance so once again the focal distance matters uh when you're cutting Because I know people are going to ask, um, and we keep these so that we can refer back to them. Uh, on the 51-130, this was at four speed, 95 max, 90 min, uh, and this is 20 millimeter stick. The 12.5 focal distance for the American Photonics. Uh, just because this is what our setting is doesn't mean it's going to work on your machine. Um, or it's going to cut as well. So again doing the ramp test to find out what your exact focal distance is, is truly highly recommended. I wish we had done this years ago. Well, I hope you learned something today. I know we sure as hell have. Uh, I feel horrible for the poor information that I may have given out in the past. Uh, I wish we had done this sooner. Uh, now, unlike most, we have the ability to do a lot of testing and playing around. Um, just to show people what the capabilities are. So again, I hope you take something away from this. I highly recommend that, you know, you stop what you're doing and run a focal test, or uh, excuse me, a, a ramp test to determine your focal distance. Uh, I know I went to, was it thunderlaserusa.com under their knowledge base, hit the search bar and type in ramp test and the directions will come right up. They've got linked to a YouTube video uh, that's, pretty idiot proof um follow the directions and run the test and run it on all your lenses and on all your machines um we like said it opened our eyes up today uh and i know you know if uh any of the tech support guys see this they're gonna probably giggle at me but you know hey i, I wish i'd have listened in the first place uh so when they tell you to do something i it, it's a good idea to probably follow it um and now you know we know a little bit more information so that hopefully it'll make our our lives a little bit easier so again i hope you learned something if um you know whatever you want to do like subscribe it doesn't matter to us as usual um but other than that have a great day